what's up guys how's it going uh today i'm going to show you guys how to connect your apple airpods to your ipod classic now these ipods here you could only connect them with the headphones on top here you can't just connect your bluetooth even though these type of ipods cost around 100 to 200 dollars online and you still can't get bluetooth inside of them unless it's customized. This iPod here is a seventh generation and this seventh generation does not have Bluetooth, but this solution will work with your fifth and your sixth generation as well. So if you have those generations, this solution will work perfectly fine with you. These Apple AirPods are Bluetooth, not wired. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to connect the wireless Apple AirPods to the iPod Classic. You don't have to customize your iPod, you don't have to open the iPod to install the Bluetooth or anything like that. It basically only takes a couple of seconds to connect to your AirPods. All you basically need is this tiny, tiny adapter here. This is a Bluetooth adapter. All you have to do is just connect it towards the bottom of your iPod Classic using the 30 pin connector at the bottom. That's basically it. And the best part about this tiny adapter is that you don't have to charge it. It doesn't have a charging port at the bottom or anything. It, it automatically turns on when you turn on the iPod. So this way you don't have to turn it off or turn it on if you want to use it over again. Now for this tiny adapter, there are two versions. The first version doesn't have a button on top and you could only connect one device or one pair of headphones. And this one, the ones that has the button, this one you could connect up to two devices at one time. So if you wanted to use two AirPods or two Bluetooth headphones, you could also do it with this adapter only. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys the webpage where I bought it from. It's basically, it's basically from eBay. And from there you could buy it from the US and get it shipped immediately. So what you have to do is connect the Bluetooth adapter here at the bottom. Once it starts blinking fast like this, then you can start by connecting your AirPods as easy as that. So let's start by connecting the AirPods here. So you open up the lid here and you press on the back button here for around six to seven seconds. And when this light starts flashing real slow every five seconds or so, that means that these AirPods are connected. So let's do that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, then let go. And these should, these two should be able to be connecting with each other at any second now. And as you can see there with the AirPods, the light turns green and this light should start blinking slower. And there it is, as, as you can see that, it took only a couple of seconds and when it flashes every five seconds, that means these AirPods are connected to the iPod Classic. So let me start by playing music here real quick. Go to now playing. And let me start by playing the track at the bottom here. And there it is. Everything that I'm hearing on the iPod itself, I'm hearing it on the AirPods that I have on. And of course the volume works perfectly. And it's very loud too. When you put it max volume with the AirPods, it's loud, but not as loud as the wired headphones. So if you have some wired headphones, especially the in-ear versions like the Beats or any type of Bose headphones, those will sound way more louder since it's connected. But with the AirPod, with the Apple AirPods first and second generation, um, these AirPods are pretty loud and they should be usable at the gym or if you're outside with outside noises. Now using the touch function on the side of the AirPods works perfectly with the iPod itself. As long as the functions are enabled through your phone settings on the Bluetooth. So if you have the right AirPods to so skip the song by double tapping it, you could use it with the iPod Classic and with the left one, you could use it to pause the song and it would also pause it with the iPod Classic as well. And also if you take them off and put them on, the music will not pause by itself. Only the touch functions work with pausing and playing the music. And of course, if you want to pair another pair of headphones, all you have to do is just hold this button here for around five to six seconds. And once it starts blinking, then you could connect your other pair of AirPods or Bluetooth headphones with the same adapter up to two devices. Now playing videos with this Bluetooth adapter, it does a good job as well. You're not gonna have much latency at all. Now to turn off the Bluetooth adapter, all you have to do is just turn off the iPod and it's basically it in the AirPods itself disconnect from the Bluetooth adapter so that you could use it with your iPhone or any other device that the AirPods are connected to. Let's start by doing that right now. Let me hold this iPod here for a couple seconds. 
the iPod turns off or goes to sleep and the Bluetooth adapter here, as you can see, that's not blinking anymore. And I just received the sound notification letting me, letting me know that these AirPods are disconnected from this device. Now, if I want to use the AirPods back again, all I have to do, it's either one, leave it inside the case, turn on the iPod, it'll connect automatically, or you could just take them out of the case here, put it inside the ears. And from here, I could turn on the iPod here, and this adapter should be able to connect with your AirPods in a couple of seconds. And of course, if you have a case, this will work with the case on too, because you still have enough room at the back and on the front of the, of the iPod here. It, it works perfectly well with no problem. This does not get in the way with the case at all. And you can start by using your iPod Classic with the adapter on too. Plus it makes the adapter look even smaller with the, with the case around it. So for this adapter, you could buy these on Amazon or on eBay. On eBay, they cost around $65 to $70. And you could buy the adapters from there. But those devices, but those adapters that you see here on the screen, you can only connect one device at one time. And it doesn't have a pairing button. All you have to do is just connect it and it automatically goes on pairing mode. Okay, now this adapter that I have right now costs around $100 to $130. The reason it costs twice as much is because you could connect two devices at one time. So if it has a button here, you could connect two Bluetooth headphones at one time. Okay, so this is probably the best possible way to connect your AirPods first and second generation to your iPod Classic that does not have Bluetooth at all. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.